In this video, I flip 25 unusuals for profit in Team Fortress 2. This is part 4 of the series, but this time instead of showing you 100 unusuals, I will show you my last 25 unusuals that I've sold recently in depth to demonstrate to you what a profitable unusual really looks like. I'm going to detail the entire process from the reasoning behind each purchase to the outcomes of the trades. Throughout the video, I'll be sharing specific information about each unusual item including why I bought it and its sellability and performance. At the end, I'll summarize my findings and the key takeaways from part 4 of this series. Hopefully you can leave this video with a better insight of unusual trading. Now before we start, I'll go over how I'm tracking everything since it has been a while. At the top you're going to see the unusual's name. Then there's a table on the right to show the price bought, date bought, price sold, date sold, profit and profit margin percentage. If the unusual name is highlighted in green, that means I know I've successfully sold it for profit. If the unusual name is highlighted in red, that means I either sold the item for a loss, sold it for the same amount I bought it for, or I simply don't know what happened to it. I'll quickly say this now, all of the 25 unusuals in this video will be green because I picked them out of my most recent sales. I also have a picture on the left of the table for each item, and most items were sold on marketplace.tf. To determine profit, I'll divide the price I sold it for after tax by the price of keys at the time of the sale. The last time I bought keys, I paid $1.69 USD each, so I'll roll with that. I'll try to showcase a screenshot for each sale if I can, whether that be a marketplace.tf sale, steam trade sale, or item trades. To make it easy for everyone from around the world to understand, I'll say the full dates instead of the old days, months, years method. Each sale is as of between 21st of August 2024 to 13th of August 2024. And take this video with a grain of salt, nothing is actually 100% accurate here, but I know for sure the data I've collected is at least 95% accurate, which I think is good enough to suffice for a fourth educational video. And these are the ground rules for this trading series. Now, in wanting to help others, I've launched my school project where I personally help TF2 traders, you, Make a bunch of profit just like I did in this video. I hope that immersing yourself in the community of good people with the same goals as you, a skilled mentor, and excellent resources can prosper the harsh TF2 market filled with bad people. This is my way to offer you something great if you want to learn more about profitable trading, know how I do my stuff, or if you want to simply support the channel. See if you qualify by clicking the top link of the description now. Let's begin with the first item. First, item number one is a hard carry war hood. The wall hood is a very solid heavy hat, and limited effects on this hat sell quite well in my experience. The hard carry is a pretty bad effect from summer 2023, but when I saw a bot selling it for just 9 keys, I sniped that straight away. The cheapest other unusual wall hood right now on the market is a nuts and bolts wall hood for 9.35 keys. And with only 15 in existence with an empty market, plus several recent sales on marketplace.tf for between $24 and $26, I just decided to list it for $29.99, and literally one day later it winds up selling for what I listed it for. Converting that cash into keys, I get 15.97 keys. That's 6.97 keys profit, and a massive 77.45% profit margin in only one day. An amazing profitable trade to begin this video. Item number 2 is an Astral Presence Taunt The Victory Lap. Oftentimes I say unusual taunts are cancerous to sell unless they are very outstanding and unique since the supply of these things is through the roof with little demand to match. However, the victory lap is an excellent all-class taunt that you can move around in, plus Astral Presence is an example of an outstanding and unique unusual effect. I identified the dozens of sales on marketplace.tf and I listed high since I can afford to wait, I'm a big trader. I've sold this taunt before in a previous video so I knew this would inevitably sell. And I was right. I sold it for 19.4 keys profit and an 83.61% profit margin. But a big problem was that it took 392 days. That's over a year, but like I said, I can afford to wait because I'm a big trader. If you're a smaller trader, I would recommend against flipping unusual taunts. Don't even look their way if your backcrack value is below 1000 keys. Item number 3 is an Omniscient Orb Murderer's Motif. This is a nice looking spy unusual with a hat and effect are from Scream Fortress 2018. Omniscient Orb is definitely a good effect from my experience and this sale shows. In 50 days, which is quite reasonable, I sold it for 6.2 keys profit 
and a 41.06% profit margin. Not bad, possibly if you were a smaller trader, you would list it for slightly less at like 34.99 to get a faster sale, albeit a little bit less profit. I listed it at 39.99 because there are plenty of sales recently that support it. Now item number 4 is a Perennial Pedals Panisher. This is a pink grade hat for Soldier, and both the hat and effect are from summer 2021. The effect Perennial Pedals is quite underwhelming to be honest, it's just some glowing flowers and it's not very popular at all, you probably didn't even know it existed. Plus the Panisher is quite a bad hat too because it is assassin grade. This makes it more expensive, yet not worth the price if you get what I mean. People pay for aesthetics, but this hat is expensive not because of aesthetics, but because it's a rare pink grade item. Nonetheless, 15.27 keys profit and 69.41% profit margin are great, but 238 days is extremely slow. I only bought it because there were a few marketplace sales in the $60 range before, and I just wanted to use up some keys. Item number 5 is a Spectral Wick Horror Shoal. Now I want to begin saying that this effect is absolutely amazing, the other variations Wicked Wick and Haunted Wick are really good too. Both the hat and effect are from Scream Fortress 2022, and the heavy hat is quite good as well. I identified that this hat has sold for several times on Marketplace for 59.99, and it was for 26 keys on an empty market, so I knew it was going to be an easy sale. Furthermore, the sister effect variations are a bit more expensive, even though the effects are virtually the same. And 7 weeks for 6 keys profit and 23% profit margin is quite decent, especially since I'm open to being patient for more profit. Item number 6 is a Cloud9 Cyborg Stunt Helmet. Cloud9 is a great effect and has been around for a really long time. However, the Cyborg Stunt Helmet is a garbage Robo Demoman hat. But since Cloud9 has gained popularity and price over the years, I bought it for 9.6 keys and I was confident it can get 19.99 because every other Cloud9 hat is more expensive, but the only problem was that key prices went up like crazy during August, so my profit margin for the entire video, and this hat especially, was slashed by up to 10%. Nonetheless, I'll still take one key profit in 25 days. Item number 7 is a Stormy Storm Blast Defense. Now the Blast Defense is a quick switch miss despite Valve patching it, but there's another method they still haven't patched. Stormy Storm is a great second generation effect on many hats, but it's only alright as an effect to pair with another since this is a quick switch misc. Sales for this hat have been all over the place, and it sells less frequently than I thought it would. That was a major reason it took 244 days to sell, as there were several other sellers on Marketplace and on Backpack.tf Classifieds, but I was willing to stick it out, and I got 7.65 keys profit and 25.84% profit margin. If you were a smaller trader though, I wouldn't buy this just because there was too much market competition. Item number 8 is a Green Energy Day Jogger. This is an assassin grade demo hat from the Mayflower collection, but unlike the Panisher, this is actually a good aesthetic hat, so it doesn't suffer from rarity inflation value, I'll call it. And Green Energy is also obviously a timeless great effect, and together make this a great hat. Even though the only sales were from 2021 or before, for 60 keys or less, Naturally, this hat being very old will cause bots to constantly overcut each other and for any sellers to list for very high. That's why despite a lack of recent sales, I decided to be brave and list it for way higher than it has ever sold for before, and although it took over 100 days, 31.65 keys profit and 42.28% profit margin is very nice. Smaller traders shouldn't wait this long, so I recommend to list for high for a short period to see if you get offers, and then just re quick sell it for a little bit of profit if it doesn't sell. Item number 9 is a Dead President Stately Steel Toe. This is a garbage hat and a garbage unusual effect, but it was one of the cheapest unusuals on the market with no sellers on Marketplace, with a recent sale at $19.99, so I decided to try and resell it. It did take a while, but I got a good profit margin percentage at least. I probably wouldn't recommend buying this unless you're willing to wait a really long time to resell for full price, or you're just going to re quick sell it for a tiny bit more. Item number 10 is a hard carry field practice. The field practice is an awesome medic hat from the rainy day collection, but of course, like I said earlier with the war hood, hard carry is quite a bad effect. I only bought this because there was a previous sale at $69.99 in summer 2023. So I tried buying this for $20 and reselling it for $59.99 despite another seller on marketplace, and I got lucky pulling through. Mine sold first and I got a really nice 12.72 keys profit, and 62.97% profit margin in only 2 months. 
If you're a smaller trader though, it would probably be smarter to just re quick sell this unusual. Item number 11 is a Divine Desire Hollowed Helm. Now Divine Desire is a great effect from Smith's 2020 and Hollowed Helm is a solid all class hat from Scream Fortress 2020. This unusual item is completely unpriced and the only other seller was Backpack.tf for 100 keys and he's been there for over 2 years. I knew 57 keys was quite cheap because I looked at every other Divine Desire all class unusuals at this price range and the Hollowed Helm was simply superior. Since there wasn't any sales, I was going to be first so I slapped on a price of $149.99 and it sold 3 months later for a respectable 25.31 keys profit and 44.4% profit margin. Item number 12 is a Frozen Ice 4 Bumble Beanie. The first unusual in this video that was from my trading bot. Frozen Ice 4 is an absolutely beautiful effect and the Bumble Beanie is an awesome all class unusual, both from Smith Smith 2019. This is almost comparable to the Nebula Universal Translator where stunning unusuals with over 100 in supply get more expensive over the years because of its popularity. Anyhow, I didn't redump it despite low marketplace.tf sales because I was the only seller on marketplace.tf. Therefore, I listed it for much higher than it has sold for in the past for $299.99 and it actually sold. Not a bad profit for less than 2 months. If I had a smaller inventory value though, I would have just tried quick re quick selling. Item number 13 is a Stormy Storm Gym Rat. This unusual was also dumped to my trading bot, and Stormy Storm like I said earlier is a solid effect, and the Gym Rat is an underrated heavy hat in my opinion. There was an earlier sale for $23.99 this year, so I matched that and it took a while but I did manage to sell it for a mediocre profit. Since I'm a bigger trader, I couldn't track all my items at once so looking back, I'd recommend that for a hat like this, you should re quick sell it when you get no offers after a couple of weeks. Item number 14 is an Orbiting Fire a la Cablamicon. Now Orbiting Fire is a decent effect but I don't like that it's quite small and Orbiting effects in this game are very annoying because they tend to float around the map instead of your character's head. So it makes it seem like your hat has no unusual effect. Nonetheless, the a la Blam I can't say it, is also a decent all class hat but it doesn't warrant Orbiting Fire to be worth over 30 keys if the Scream Fortress 2021 effects which look way better are at the same price. I only kept this dump from my bot because I saw high sales at $99.99. I didn't keep track of it and eventually someone kept undercutting me all the way down to $74.99. And after 477 days, it finally sold. If you ever see this hat and it has a mediocre or crappy 1st gen, 2nd gen or 3rd gen effect, be cautious that it will probably take forever to sell. Item number 15 is an Aces High Executioner. Aces High is quite a bad effect and it also orbits the head. The Executioner is an alright all class unusual, but there's definitely way better unusuals at 13 keys than the Aces High Executioner. I listed it for $39.99 which is quite high and it actually has sold for that much in the past but it seems that there were other sellers as well which suggests that this hat was really hard to sell but I stuck out to 265 days and got my sale. Item number 16 is the Haunted Ghost Warpaint Field Tested. Now normally Warpaints take a really long time to sell but the Haunted Ghost Warpaint is really nice even in Field Tested. Hot is also better than cool on this wall paint, but isotope would literally be like triple the price. Anyway, I matched the two other sellers on the marketplace, and after a while, I got lucky to sell mine first for a good profit margin. I wouldn't recommend wall paints if you're a smaller trader, they take really long to sell. Item number 17 is a cool candy coated holy mackerel field tested. I only bought this because this was by far the cheapest unusual holy mackerel on the market, so I listed it for a little bit higher. It did wind up selling really quickly, but my profit margin is so bad because key prices went up during August. I'll still take it though, but I wouldn't touch weapon skins either if you're a small trader. Item number 18 is a cool horror holiday scattergun field tested. I bought this scattergun for cheap and I listed it to be the cheapest unusual scattergun on the market and it sold for a decent profit in under 3 months. Again, I would avoid if you're a small trader. Item number 19 is a Kilowatt Charmer Shapu. Kilowatt is a decent effect and a Charmer Shapu is a high tier spy hat that looks great. I got an okay margin but this took 437 days to sell. This was likely due to a full market and I got the sale last. So I would recommend that you ideally get an empty market or if there's one other seller that's fine as well, just not two or more. Item number 20 is a Haunted Ghost Killer Exclusive. Haunted Ghost is a solid effect and the Killer Exclusive is a very popular all class hat. I'm surprised this unusual effect is so much cheaper than some other effects, but I guess that's just the way it is. 
It took quite a long time to sell because of such an oversaturated market, so make sure to mitigate the amount of sellers you're competing against. Item number 21 is a cool steel brush wall paint minimal wear. Now I bought this ages ago from summer 2023 when it first released and I just kind of kept it at a high price because I forgot about it. This is definitely a nice wall paint but it should be like selling for like half the amount. This is definitely a fluky sale and I strongly recommend that you pay close attention to what you're selling to make use of the pure. That profit margin is insane though. Item number 22 is a Cosmic Constellation soft hard hat. This is a mediocre engineer hat from Smiths 2022 but Cosmic Constellations is a great effect. The only problem is the supply. There is 97 and counting of these in existence, which slashes down the price with extreme competition. That's why it took me 192 days to sell, because there were so many other sellers undercutting me, so I just waited for them to sell out and I got my high sale. As always, I recommend avoiding overcrowded markets to increase your profit margin. Item number 23 is a Shrieking Shades Hat Out of Hell. This is a very nice unusual effect and all class hat from Screen Fortress 2021. Someone dumped this to me on my bot and I saw that it was an empty market on Marketplace so I listed it $10 higher than the previous recent sale and I sold it quite quickly despite having a few sellers selling cheaper than me initially. Item number 24 is a Blizzardy Storm Killer Exclusive. Blizzardy Storm is a great effect and a Killer Exclusive is one of the best all class unusual hats. The only problem was that this hat had so much competition despite selling for a high price on Marketplace.tf but I got quite lucky and sold mine in 2 months. Again, avoid overcrowded markets if you can. And the last item, item number 25 is the Steaming Gentleman's Yushanka. Steaming is a quite mediocre effect but the Gentleman's Yushanka is a really popular medic hat. There were no other sellers so I decided to match the most recent sale from many months ago and eventually it sold with no issues. Now to show you the overall results, this was 8 days of sales from the 21st of August 2024 and the 13th of August 2024. In total, I spent 861.05 keys on all of these hats put together. In total, I made 358.66 keys profit, making my average profit margin percent to be 41.65%, which is higher than most people would sell for, but the profit margin is lower than previous videos due to higher key prices. The average time for an unusual to sell was 150 days which is a very long time but this was due to two main factors. Between March 2024 and July 2024, all sales were really really slow as the game was dry until it picked up again in summer 2024. Like literally during that period of time I was getting like 1 or 2 unusual sales per week but during August which is this month I was averaging 3 unusual sales per day and also some items were complete outliers. 12 items out of the 25 took over 100 days to sell and if we exclude them from the data it took an average of 52.23 days to sell my unusuals on top of the dry period of no sales. And that's all for today's video. Leave a like, subscribe and turn on notifications. Leave a comment on how well your trading journey is going. And remember, if you're interested in receiving personalized help on trading up to your dream TF2 backpack, click the link in the description. See ya.